Greetings. So, you'd like to pit your skills against one of my little challenges. Come in, little plug indeed. Well, I've decided to be gentle with you, this being our first coming together. Welcome to this review of Games Master. I'm going to use the official book to talk about Games Master. But also have a look at the book, the contents, just my thoughts, my feelings, my memories. And before we start, if you're from anywhere apart from Britain, and I don't know where this particularly went out anywhere else, you won't have a clue what this is about. So I think in introduction rather than summary, Games Master was one of the, if not the best, video game show of the 90s. And this book is in a kind of annual style, I'm just opening it up now, you can see. And as far as I'm aware, it's a one-off book only. Now Games Master was a presented kind of TV show by a guy called Dominic Diamond. There was also Dexter Fletcher who took out uh, the kind of presenting side, but also there was the man himself, yes, obviously there was Sir Patrick Moore, the Games Master. Um, so a little introduction there, welcome dear reader to the book of the show, it gives you a little bit of a background, talks about the show itself, and then we get into Dexter. So uh, Dexter's just recently, I think, directed or produced the Rocket Man movie, he's obviously done other stuff, um, which you'll be familiar with, and he presented this. Now getting into it, um, it's a very, very like easy thing to go through everything. I'm just going to pick out some key highlights. And we've got the top 10 games of action. And they chose Street Fighter 2. So there you go. I don't know what you think about that. Um, going into the next spread here and uh, just flicking these pages through. Talks about the Games Master himself, Mr. Patrick Moore, and what he did within the program it was pretty cutting sometimes but that was funny because like you know some of us were teenagers at the time young adults and uh, yeah some sports games here sensi soccer so it's very british you can see some of the uh, slightly contentious things road rash 2 i think that should have been higher up but we can all argue about some of these in the comments i'm sure and ones that should be in here as well they missed out some crackers actually later down um Cheats, so very useful to get some cheats in on the annual as well. Some quite good little tips and hints. Quite cool to even use these now. Um, Castle Illusion came up the other day, so a little kind of tip there. And we've got James Bond 2 and Double Dragon. So yeah, some nice little cutie tips there, which could come in handy. Um, there's a portrait gallery here, which is a bit odd, but I kind of like the oddness really. It's kind of who are they and where are they now. Some more top tens. I'm not sure about Legends of Valor being the best fantasy game of all time, but hey, beats the Legend of Zelda there, you can believe it or not. There's some odd ones in there. Crystal Warriors, yeah. Some, some interesting ones. How to be a contestant. So we knew a few people who were contestants on Games Master. I think Larry Bundy actually appeared on Games Master and a few other people. There was also celebrities which we'll get into but it tells you actually how to get on the program which is kind of cool you know so it was still going at this time obviously uh, for them to give those little tips now the celebrities bit was a big part of the whole games master experience some random people here again if you're international bob holness i mean to me he's like a god but you've probably never heard of him then you've got the consolation zone so you know you've got uh, some little kind of things for people not tips so much it's like how can i beat this how can i beat my friend at game boy tennis how can i get past this person so there's a little bit there back into they, they wasted or they used a lot of pages up with these top tens it's quite a cheeky little thing platform games absolutely smashed uh, sonic 2 there <laughs> whoops super mario land totally wiped it out uh, kid chameleon some other ones there flicking through quickly here also got uh, some challenges here and some scores. Again, Sensi appears very high there in the scoring number one at 91%. Flicking through, got some more stars. Ian Wright used to play for England and Arsenal. Linford Christie, who's obviously a mar uh, marathon runner. What am I talking about? He's a sprinter. Oh my goodness. Ulrika Johnson there. Again, some of these people you've probably never heard of if you're outside of the UK. Just flicking through this a bit more. Um, there's screenshots here, they're really awful, you can see 
<laughs> they're just so stretched it's hilarious whoever did the repro and artwork in this book sorry if you did and you're commenting but yeah those pictures are damn crazy all time greats shoot 'em ups very weird shoot 'em up desert strike what is that doing in there how is that a shoot 'em up anyway yeah some uh, slightly kind of questionable ones there there's a special feature this is just weird it's the granny gamers the granny great what just bizarre yes yes britain for you i'm afraid just welcome to our world we do stuff like that and then we've got some more stars tony slattery steve backley a lot of um kind of olympians and johnny herbert obviously a racing driver there we've got some more tips uh we've got monkey island how to win the spitting competition some more james pond james pond is very popular in the uk I think particularly uh, what else we've got here yeah bits and bobs yeah arcade games so uh, the Mortal Kombat Street Fighter thing going on you know I mean there's missed a lot out here I have to say and they've got Smash TV in there I mean you know the game's okay but missed out quite a lot but maybe it's with the time Terminator 2 was a big game as well particularly in the arcade at that present moment I think it's about 93 I could be wrong um, this is a little question Q and A here. I'm gonna just point them out rather than go for every one of them. Might pick out a few. Amiga is Spanish for girlfriend, sexy, better than the ST. Interesting. Echo is a whale, a dolphin. Echo is a echo is a some very weird questions here. Road Rush is a top game by Ocean, a top game by EA. A rather embarrassing complaint suffered by cyclists. Hmm. Anyway, there's all the answers there. I'm not going to uh, give all those out now. Then we've got the fantasy challenges, which is a bit of a weird spread. So, kind of, I think it was just yeah made up stuff as usual. The awards, um, which they did obviously on the show itself. So grumpiest character, Ryu, best ears, Sonic the Hedgehog. We've got wimpiest, thickest character, easiest game, Hyperstone Heist. I think it's easier games than that. Battle Squadron. Right, moving on. Uh, home Sweet Home. Uh, oh, yeah, this is cool. It's all about the actual venue, which is excellent. It even gives the actual dimensions of a place. So it's the old uh, church there. Some more celebrities. Vic Reeves, Kathy Dennis. is a musician. Take that. You may have heard of them. And obviously Hacksaw. Hacksaw? Hacksaw. Hacksaw. <laughs> Jim Duggan. So, yeah, some um, cool mix there. And then it talks about the future. Oh, the Mega CD. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Just to be thinking about the fact it was the future, three DO, lots of CD gaming kind of coming into play. This was the '90s, the exciting era of change, or maybe not for some people, because often many people just like carts. And then we're just kind of summarising it all up. We've got a uh, little competition uh, which you could write into and win stuff, which is what they used to do back before the internet. So there's the book. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed Games Master. Maybe leave some comments about Games Master itself. And uh, I'll try and do a few more of these in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching.